Hello and welcome to this demo. Today we're going to talk about Centrify Identity Service and one of the newer features released on uh, version 15.9 and it's called uh, Azure AD Join Support. Many of you who have played with uh, Windows 10 uh, know that the Windows 10 has a new feature which is the ability to support Azure AD Join. So I have a Windows 10 machine. It's actually the first time I'm doing this so this is going to be a one take and uh, we're going to see if we can uh, do an AD uh, join uh, this Windows 10 machine using Azure AD Join assisted by Centrify. And the most important thing is that we already have Office 365 enabled here. Uh, Diana is already a user. And the way we actually did it, we did it with also with uh, provisioning support. So Diana should have uh, uh, the ability to, to perform this task. So without further ado, let's go and, 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 and try it. So we're going to join Azure AD, and here we're seeing what's happening. This is actually the first time I go through this wizard myself. So we're, um, we're going to just put in uh, Diana's credentials. And notice that once I put the username, it immediately uh, wanted to redirect, and it's actually re redirecting to the IDP, which is Centrify in this case. And it's trying to authenticate me uh, with Active Directory, but I'm not in, in Active Directory. So this is going to, it's supposed to prompt me. So if everything goes as I expect, uh, this is going to be an unknown browser too. So the expectation is that I'm going to have to provide a multi-factor. So um, um, I'm going to readjust this a little bit. So let's do next. It's asking me for which mode of authentication. Uh, we could do an SMS, um, so I'm going to do a text, and uh, uh, I could actually just press the button here. It's going to submit the code for me, and let's see um, if that actually worked well. Um, I guess I probably changed that and shouldn't have done that, but let's, uh, let me just get the code normally, and uh, I have it on my phone. I'm going to... Uh, it's... Uh, Old school um, OTP B seven one B one three six B. Okay, so I'm uh, going to do next. So it's asking me for my password. Some of you that have seen uh, authentication profiles, you notice that it's actually respecting that sequence. So let's see what happens. It's going back then to Azure. All right, so it's a uh, um, you know, making sure that I have that. All right, so seems that I'm joined. Okay. So I'm joined to Azure AD, and uh, that worked like a charm. Let's see what happens when I log out. And let's see, so I have Diana here. Should I just pick another user? Let's see. Uh, um, dworth at rpdemo.net. All right. So it picked up Diana's name. Diana does have a local account in the machine. So right now it should be creating a new profile for um, a user uh, that comes from Azure AD. And there you go. That's how the new feature works. And I actually learned uh, something myself. Um, you know, um, with Centrify, not only you can join your existing or manage your existing iOS, Mac OS, um, uh, Samsung Knox, um, a Windows 10 machine uh, using uh, Azure AD Join, and also Chromebooks. Uh, the next video, we're going to see Chromebooks in action.